Let's talk about the weather. All right, okay. We had an average day yesterday. It was bright, it was beautiful. Uh, we had some clouds too. You can see them stacked on top of each other. It was, an, it was a beautiful day. Temperatures ranging from the mid 40s to the low 50s. 51 was the highest reached into Wapaka, Shano, and Watoma as well. How about everybody gets a warm up? You get a warm up and you get a warm up. Yes. We're about 10 to 20 degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday morning. It's mild out there into the mid to upper 40s, even some low 50s into Appleton all the way south into Fond du Lac. A little bit cooler into the low 40s into the Northwoods. It's all right, though. We'll warm you up. We've got that south wind sustained at 20 miles per hour. That's a constant wind, and then it's gusting by the lakeshore to nearly the mid 20s right now. It's going to be a breezy day. It is creating wind chills, so lakeshore, you actually feel like the upper 30s to low 40s once you factor in that wind chill. So the winds are going to whip out of the south all day long. They're going to gust up to the 20 to 25 mile per hour range. It's not the worst, and we like the wind out of the south because that gives us a nice warm up here. Yeah, now we are waking up to, of course, some scattered showers and storms. But by the time this front passes by this afternoon, we're going to be talking about some 70s for tomorrow. So when's the last time we had a 70 degree temperature? It wasn't that long ago. It was November 3rd, but we are going to flirt with record highs for our Thursday. Today, we're not going to get to 75 degrees, but by tomorrow, I do think we're going to hit 70. We're, of course, breaking that 67 degree that currently holds for the record high for Thursday. So here we are this morning. If you are north of Antigo Mountain into Pembine area, you're getting some heavy downpours, claps of thunder. It's been waking you up here for hours, hasn't it? Puddles on the ground, one to three inches accumulation expected here throughout this morning. This line extending all the way into Rice Lake, Eau Claire, Minneapolis. It doesn't even stop there. This is actually the beginning of this entire system that is putting down some heavy snowfall winter storm warnings as close to us as northern Minnesota. Look at that even blizzard warnings out there. They are going to get hit heavy with nearly one to two feet of snowfall. Not to mention that lake effect is going to be affecting northern Wisconsin as well. So first off, we got to get through today. Those showers and storms are going to wind down by 11 a.m. We'll stay cloudy and we're going to get mild into the low 60s. Okay, and as we go through tomorrow, we are going to start off with nearly record heat before we get hit with a cold front, showers and storms, and then blasted with the cold air. So you can see that there is a risk for some severe weather just off to the west of us, a marginal risk all the way into Appleton and Oshkosh area as well. This system in the front isn't going to hit until after about 4 o'clock in the afternoon into the Fox Valley. Again, we could see some heavy downpours, so a lot of lightning, some small hail, some gusty winds. That all kicks on out of here through the overnight hours, and then Friday we crash hard. We get our first cold snap. It's also going to create some lake effect snow, and we're also looking at our little bit of snowfall headed our way by Tuesday next week. This is what we usually get for the month of November, about three inches of snowfall on the ground, so the time is just ticking, right? We've been pretty lucky so far. All right, sunrise is at 641 this morning, and temperatures climbing into those sixes. We'll take it. I have 61 degrees into the Fox Valley, mostly cloudy skies. A few more showers possible overnight. Look at these lows. Can you believe it is November? Overnight lows near 60 degrees and then climbing to 70 potentially tomorrow, breaking records. We'll take it. Enjoy it because it's going away very rapidly. High is struggling to get above freezing as soon as Saturday. That game at Lambeau on Sunday is going to be below freezing. By the time it winds down, you're going to want to get those layers out. You're going to want to dig out where that shovel is just in case. Uh, Tis the season. We are changing things around yep, rapidly. It's that time of the year. It's getting chilly. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. We'll be right back with.